Death is the most natural ending process of a living creature. This cycle can't be broken not even by the epic of Gilgamesh who tried to conquer death. The death has mainly six classifications. Natural, accident, homicide, suicide, undetermined and pending. In this video, we will talk about the three famous death stories of a chess players that might shock you. In the number one, we will talk about the greatest attacker of the 18th century, Paul Charles Murphy. He is widely regarded as the greatest unofficial world champion. And he died because of taking a shower. Yes, you heard that right. Murphy had taken a long walk during afternoon and he returned to cold bath immediately. The reaction of cold water over overheated body caused him a stroke. He was later found dead by his mother in the bathtub. In the number 2, we have William Henry Russ. And I can guarantee you, if you sell his death story to Netflix, they might pay you good money. He was the American leading compiler of the chess problems in 18th century. He adopted an 11 years old girl and becomes his father but later fall in love with her and when she becomes 21, he proposed her. And she immediately refuses the proposal. Henry was unable to bear the weight of rejection and shot her four times. But she somehow survived. Henry, surrounded by the feeling of guilt, tried to drown himself. But he failed and later he shot himself and after 10 days in hospital, he was declared dead. In the number 3, we have the chess legend, the 4th world champion, Alexander Alifine. The champion who held the title for two reigns choked to death. Three inches of piece of meat was found blocking his windpipe. But his death is more unnatural unlike it sounds. In 1921, he left his home country, Soviet Union, and now he was representing France. Russian Sports Federation closes all the communication with Alexander Alikhan and term his as their enemy. In 1946, he was preparing for the World Championship match against Mikhail Botvinnik who is the countryman of the Soviet Union. In Estoril, Portugal in 1946, he was found dead in his hotel. But many people along with his son believe that he was killed by the Soviet agents. Death is unavoidable but sometimes life is more painful than death himself. I will end this video by this quote of Norman Cousin. Death is not the greatest loss in life, the greatest loss is what dies inside us while we live.